Like I said before, my grandmother told me a bunch of stories and how things were when she grew up. The last one I shared with you was about the Rougarou and so was this one. Well, this one was about her brother, my great uncle Cole. Now he was a hell of a hunter, would track deer down on foot, shoot them, field dress them, then put the meat in a burlap sack and bring it home. She tells me about this time he came home early from hunting, empty handed, something she had never ever seen before. He's up at their parents' house, sitting on the porch, looking crazy. Got grass all in his hair, mud all over his body. So she asks him what happens. And he starts crying, saying that the Rougarou took his kill and took his rifle. Then he goes on to explain to her that he had been tracking down this deer and moved on to some property that he wasn't familiar with. Well, he's walking along and sees a sign that says, Private land, trespassers will be shot. So he turns around and leaves. Well, as he's working his way back, a deer comes running past him like it's fleeing for his life gets about 40 yards in front of him and then just stops so he shoots it takes it down and starts field dressing the deer he then got the majority of the meat off the deer and put it in the bag and he hears this growling coming from behind him turning around taking a look 10 feet behind him is the Rougarou so he grabs his rifle that's leaning against the tree to shoot it and it moves forward grabbing the rifle out of his hand and tosses it into the woods so now he's face to face, it's towering over him, leaning forward, looking him into the eye and showing its teeth. And according to her brother, he felt the fear so intense that his legs gave out and he fell to the ground. That's when it turns around, grabs that bag full of meat with his claws, kicks the deer carcass in his direction like this is yours and this meat is mine and walks off. According to my grandmother, he sat there in tears explaining to her how he ran and stumbled and tripped and fell in the mud. And the entire time he was fleeing the situation, he just knew that it was following him. Now pause right here in the story for a moment and let me explain something to you. I have never met my great uncle Cole, but I did meet his children. And one of the things about his offspring was that none of them, I mean absolutely none of them, did anything that pertained to the woods. No fishing, no hunting, no hiking, nothing. All of them, every last one of them, were afraid to go into the woods. 